Hey gamers and tech junkies, Tony here from the ClassicWeek.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast, and um, I'm going to do a quick, uh, just give you more of my thoughts than anything, kind of a review for the Honor 7X from Huawei. So I've had an opportunity to be a part of, I think, three, three uh, beta groups for Honor phones coming to the U.S., and I'm pretty excited to take a look at the Honor 7X. There's some th there's some things that I really liked, some things that I did not like, and I hope uh, that these thoughts will help inform your buying decision. But this is the budget line phone from Huawei. It retails for $199 in the U.S. And uh, here we go on the review. All right, so I've got the Honor 7X in front of me. I just took my SIM card out, which is why it says no service there at the top. Um, so I'm going to first of all just tell you quickly the things that I really, really loved about this phone. Uh, and if you want to see more details about these features, you can go over to the Honor US beta site on Facebook. It's where I posted my thoughts in more detail as well as some photo samples from the camera. So the first thing that I like about the phone is that you really can't get any sort of screen like this on any other budget device that I've ever heard of. It's got a 18 by 9 Honor full view display, and the closest thing I can, uh, the closest thing I can recall it being like is if you've ever been at one of those hotels that has one of those everlasting swimming pools, um, where it looks like it kind of goes into the ocean, but it really doesn't. That's kind of what this screen reminded me of when I was using this device. It is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And I love the fact that it gives you additional gaming screens since I'm a gamer. Um, uh, additional gaming bandwidth. And I do do a gaming sample over on that uh, Honor US Facebook beta page as well. But the screen is just unparalleled in the budget market. It's absolutely beautiful. The other thing I really liked about this device, now I was a beta user of the 6X as well, is when I go into... Um, settings you're going to see that they bumped up the processor a little bit let me see if i can find the yeah here it is about phone and so what you've seen is they bumped up this is the kirin 659 processor which is a uh, they're calling it a gaming friendly processor they've really bumped up the processor that they use in this phone and you can really tell a difference between the 6x and the 7x um, with pr gaming performance and other things as well. So one of the complaints I had about the 6X is if you were opening up a lot of other apps and then you tried to get into the camera really quick to take a picture, there was a little bit of stuttering. That Kirin 659 has uh, bumped that up a little bit and it really helps when it comes to gaming performance and um, just general tasking around the phone. Like I was able to have a lot more apps open on this even with the extra screen space and it really made a big difference um, navigating the phone with that little bump of a processor. It's not major difference, um, but it's, it is a nice difference as well. So the screen, the processor performance, and then of course the battery life, which is just absolutely incredible. They put a 3340 mAh battery in this, and I did a great post over this in the Facebook group. The battery life, it's it just incredible, continues to be incredible on Huawei devices. I was able to um, seriously use this all day for work, several different conference calls, checking email, doing some social media stuff as well, and I played about an hour worth of games, and when I plugged in my phone at night, I still had right around 20 some percent left of my phone. So I mean, I really pushed it to the test all day and the battery life was just simply incredible how it worked. Now I wanna to get to two things that I don't like about this phone. And the first thing I don't like about this phone is this right here. I don't know if you can see it really well. Let me see if I can zoom in. Just the micro USB port. For me, I've switched over. I use, a, a my laptop uses USB-C my uh, other phone and other tablet use USB-C. I know Huawei uses USB-C on their other devices, um, such as the Mate 9. For me, the micro USB, it's just time to phase that out, and I really wish they would have just put in a USB-C into this phone. It would have made it a lot easier for me. Instead, I had to dig out some micro USB cables to use this as my main driver. 
and it was one of those things I really wish they would have put in USB-C. That's just me though, that may not apply to everyone. The other thing I really don't like about this phone is I really wish for the US variant they would have put in, let me pull that back up, you'll see in the US variant right there, there's three gigabytes of RAM. I notice a major difference in my phones between three and four gigabytes of RAM. My other main driver phone has four gigabytes of RAM. I know this is a budget device, so three gigabytes is pretty dang good, but I know the international variant, there's an option to get a four gigabyte version, and I really wish that option would be in the US as well, because um, four gigabytes just really combined with that Kirin 659 processor would really make this phone nearly unstoppable. And I wish that it had that, and it, it would be one of those things that I would look at and be like, man, why would you ever, why would you ever buy anything different than this uh, Honor 7X? Because it's just absolutely incredible with that four gigabytes of RAM. And so for me, that was just another thing that's my preference. I really wish um, they would have put in the four gigabytes of RAM to this device. Other than that, I really do love this phone. I don't think there is. Um, a better option in the market especially for budget budget conscious users I mean to get a screen like this on a phone like this um, is just absolutely incredible and then you also get great battery life gaming performance and an amazing camera uh, the camera is a dual lens on the Honor 7x which is a it just works really really well it's a 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel dual dual lens and you can see some of my photos over on the Facebook page. So once again, this has been Tony from the classically.com gaming electronic podcast. These are my thoughts on the Honor 7X. Once again, probably the best budget phone that you can buy. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments below and feel free to like and share this video.